This time last year I made some lithium ion packs, some 4S1P lithium ion packs using Samsung 21730T lithium ion cells and the Secure SQSW1 spot welder. Um, I've been using these first two packs I made then for the last year or so, they've been working just fine. Uh, I normally use them as a parallel pair, so a 6000 mAh 4S2P. I still have lots of these Samsung cells left, uh, so I figured it was far time I used them and built some more packs. I've changed a few things about the process and I figured it would be uh, interesting just to get it on camera. Right, so the biggest difference is that I'm no longer using the 3D printed end caps and spacers because honestly for the sort of flying that I do with these it's just um, needless extra bulk and weight. So I'm just going with the, uh, the glue and tape approach for these. So one thing I have done is I've designed these really simple little jigs that I 3D print just to help the uh, construction process. And they have a groove on the inside, an indent, and that holds a 30 millimeter long strip, a 10 millimeter wide, 0.2 millimeter thick nickel strip. Right, so this way the, uh, the piece of nickel strip is held perfectly centered uh, both ways above the terminals and it means that instead of trying to use one of the electrodes to sort of pin the strip in place and then hold it there as you get the other electrode, the um, this end cap just holds that in place and lets you just um, focus on doing the, the welds. Speaking of the nickel strip, I also bought um, a set of these mean looking scissor snip things. I guess they're halfway between tin snips and scissors and uh, they just make it so much quicker and easier and neater to cut this stuff and also to cut these slots in the end rather than using the Dremel which was a, a huge mess. In like this. When we put it flat on the bench it means it's not twisted at all and then I'm gonna glue them down. This is generic Uhu adhesive. Apparently the word for adhesive in Spanish, I think, is cola. And then I'm just gonna run a bead down like that. Rotate. So I'm just marking the halfway on these strips so that I can then cut the notches into the end which helps greatly with the welding process. So we now have a bunch of slotted strips some of them are even quite neat. A couple of people asked what battery I'm using to power the welder. This is a Turnergy Rapid 5500 mAh 3S2P hard case. So it's designed for a RC car. Um, it has a 140C rating and an XT90. 140C sounds kind of mad for a LiPo, but if you believe that you can get 70C packs, well that's just two 70C packs internally paralleled so so because the um the 3d printed jig holds the the nickel strips in place i don't have to attempt to, to pin down the strip with one of the uh the electrodes i can just let the jig do it put my fingers on the jig just to put some pressure down take my time placing the probes and use the foot switch to do the weld bit like that. Then I'll come down to the bottom and do one there. Then I will rotate the pack, same as last time, just so that I'm staggering um, which side of the gap the positive and negative are on. Now one thing to be aware of when you have your little production line like this going is how much abuse these welds put on the battery. Now because it's a hard case it's quite hard to feel how much warmth is inside of it but these discharge wires are really starting to heat up. Right, 
Um, at this stage, I generally put some of this, um, what is this, fiberglass reinforced tape just to give the pack a bit more physical strength as I'm handling it. Okay, so we have our pack with its three series connections, each with four welds apiece. Uh, next thing to do is to add the discharge um, connections, and for that what I will do is cut one of these in half Now ideally, you would hold these little tabs in a vise or something, but I don't have a vise, so what I'm going to do is hold them in a pair of pliers, which I then tape shut. So we're going to have two wires on each of these, we're going to have the thicker gauge discharge wire and the finer gauge uh, balance wire. So we're going to put two lumps of solder, one on either side. making sure that we do this on the end that doesn't have the, uh, the slot cut in it. Now be aware of the angle that you want the wires to come off at, considering where the rest of the, uh, the things are going to be. Uh, I want the wires to come off not straight, but also not sort of 45 degrees because then it is hit. I want them coming off at a very gentle to that angle. So not quite straight. Okay, so we have a piece of nickel strip with the slot for the spot welding, with the thicker gauge discharge wire and the finer gauge uh, balance wire. And we will repeat for the, um, the negative. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is spot weld these tabs onto the first and last cell in the pack. Now these I can't do in the little 3D printed jig, so these I do have to hold in place as it were. So we've now got our two discharge connectors on the, the first, well on the two extreme ends of the cells. Right, at this stage what we're going to do is connect up the remaining balance wires. Now ideally, when we solder this wire onto this uh, piece of nickel strip here, we want to solder it just here at the gap between the cells, so we're not putting the iron onto the nickel strip above the heat shrink, because we don't want to melt through that heat shrink or the protective disc there. Okay, so we've got our two balance connections on the bottom, so that's between cells 1 and 2 and between cells 3 and 4, and then the connection between cells 2 and 3 is the uh, series connection on top. will do nicely. Now at this point it is a sensible idea to do a quick sanity check, plug in a balance port reader and make sure you've got a sensible, yep, four cells all showing the voltages they should do. Oh, we need to do a um, discharge connector, don't we? As I just turned off the soldering iron. Okay, so at this stage, all that's left to do is to insulate and or protect the pack uh, as you see fit. Um, I'm not going to use heat shrink like I did last time. I didn't particularly enjoy blasting four lithium cells with the heat gun like that. And there we have it, another 4-cell 21700 lithium-ion pack ready to join its sibling in my Alba Bird and fly around in circles for 45 minutes. 
Uh, as always, um, be careful with this sort of thing. Um, don't rush into it. Uh, do lots of reading, lots of research. Be safe, have fun.